filling this drill without a uh, yeah. conveyor mounted was, uh, was we, were, we were nervous. Was nerve wracking, and I was trying to figure out the logistics in my head all winter before seeding came. How that was going to change how we fill a drill. Um, but it was easy. So, so it, yeah, it was the best spring for us. Yeah. Um, it was yeah. the fastest fill times. Um, we we bought a nice uh, backhoe with a with a mover, which our farm didn't have before, and now it's the most used piece in the binyard. Yeah. Um, so that's another thing. You instead of companies like Seedmaster spending their money on this fancy conveyor that just weighs this thing down. And then it sits there all year and, and has a chance to rust. Um, the day I finished seeding, I washed the bearings, greased them, and that conveyor went straight back to the bin yard so it load, loading trucks out. So it's, it's used all year now and it doesn't have that chance to rust out. So we, uh, so I had no problem putting fertilizer through a, through a new conveyor because you're gonna use it all year. So, um, so the, when the day came to actually fill, um, you have your truck, whether it's a Super B, triaxle, or a Tandem, and the conveyor is already under those hoppers or set up, and then the drill pulls under, and it's like NASCAR, because you fill, and you back away, and you drive away, and you're, and you're seating again without trying to fold this conveyor back onto the side, or this auger back onto the side, then the guys all grain to the field take care of it while the drill is working again. Yeah, to fill all, so to fill almost the same bushels of what we're doing, we're, we're a quarter of the time. Yeah. A quarter. Easy a quarter of the time. Yeah. And, uh, and our trailers would always have to mount this auger on, I mean, whether it was the old Michael. Michael style or the one that we had. Um, you'd always have to stop the truck, come into the field, you'd have to put that under and then line it up with the auger on the drill. But now, it, like Scott said, it's all set up. Yeah. And then while I go back seating, the guys can take everything down. It was the last, it was the last fill for that field, and then take it to the next field and have it all set up. So when you get there, it's all ready. So legit, it was actually awesome. It was a great way to do it. And then that trailer too, um, if something were to happen to the, that trailer or whatever, it didn't matter. You go hook onto another one. It didn't matter what, or even, or if you were custom, even custom seating. Yeah. You I mean you just take your back go with the drill to whoever you're seating for. Yeah and they can just use their truck. So yeah. anyone that needed those Michaels conveyors underneath realized that they were limited to that truck for seating. And that doesn't yeah. happen anymore. For yeah. us, that was a big, big bonus. And I know the new drills nowadays, I mean, they got, they've got the flip over conveyor that slides under, but it's still time. It's still stopping the drill and positioning the truck and then sliding that conveyor under. I mean, that's, I mean, there's five, 10 minutes yeah. possibly it, easy there. Whereas we're, we're almost done. Yeah, they're at that they're point. they're fill time when the conveyor turns on. Might it's be quick. quick, but there's still a there's still a time to set up and and then take that auger back into the conveyor or into the unit to to start seating. So there's there's a huge argument there where we were, like I say, a quarter of the time faster than our old drill filling with two trucks, filling two tanks at the same time, and we still beat our time at a quarter. And then that cost too. I mean, you buy a conveyor, a yard conveyor that you can use 12 months a year for less than half probably of what that conveyor would have cost on a drill that you're only going to use for a month. So, yeah, um, all my worries this time last year are gone and I, I'm, now I'm excited again to get back at it seeding because the logistics were great. We actually talked about why did we ever, why didn't we use a backhoe on the old drill? Like, yeah, to fill like you don't need to have an auger on it. Yeah, so no, it was uh, it was good. It was it was really good. Yeah.